Hi, happy Friday everyone and welcome to my fourth haul that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to make this a speed review and I'm going to go through 16 items as quickly as possible, but I'm going to give you the names of what everything is according to their description in the catalog. So I'm going to first start out with some travel items. The first thing I have to show you is this nice travel bag. And I got it on a lightning deal, and it actually was only $7.39, but it's now a little bit more than that. I think it's around $13. But it's large capacity, travel backpack, multi-portable storage bag, zipper lightweight storage bag. And I actually have a pair of shoes in there right now, and probably two pair of shoes could fit in here easily. They're size nine and a half, and you can take a look. They're inside, and there's still plenty of room. And it doesn't take away from the inside compartment, which is on this end. So you have plenty of space inside. You have a pocket in the back to stick paperwork or whatever you need to put in there. You have a zip compartment in the front that you could put a small tablet, small laptop in and then the overall body of the backpack is nice and roomy. I plan to take it on the plane. It's my um, carry-on and it has the backpack straps. My next item I'm going to show you is adorable. I absolutely was not expecting such good quality. It's a silicone luggage tag with address um, compartment on the back, but they have different styles and this one is a flamingo and it's a nice not heavy but nice sturdy weight with a leather or faux leather probably plastic or silicone strap actually but it's very colorful and i'm looking forward to using it this was a dollar 87 they range from 107 to a dollar 87 depending on the design they have a really cute slock so you might want to check that out in the description, it says silicone luggage tag, label address holder. And my next item is one of these shower puffs. And this shower puff is really pretty nice. It was um, $1.57. And inside you can see that it's got the same kind of shower puff material. But on the outside, it's got sort of a softer feel than that mesh. So um, it does have a little satin ribbon to hang it. They come in four different colors. <clears throat> Moving along to the bath and body and makeup, this is a three piece set. It's a mushroom sponge for applying your foundation and it came with two powder puffs that are fan shaped. And on the back, they have like a little strap to put it on your fingers if you would like. And this was um, 99 cents for all three pieces. The next thing I have to show you is some compression gloves. They are open fingertips. They say size up, so I ordered a large. They're a little bit big, but they will absolutely work. They're called compression arthritis gloves, pain relief. They come in different colors. Mine is khaki. And what I plan to use mine for, I don't have arthritis, but I like to get gel nails. So the ultraviolet lamps that they have to, um, that they put your hands under when you're getting your nails done and dried. Um, I always put sunscreen on before I go, but I think that this is just going to be extra protection and I'll still put sunscreen on, but the majority of my hand is covered and is protected from the UV light rays. I also have a ingrown toenail pedicure toolkit. It's six pieces, it's stainless steel, it's for dead skin calluses, ingrown toenails. And I was actually surprised at these um, tools that they have. They give you six and they have like little ridges, handle, ridges so they don't slip. So there's this piece, there's this piece, 
There's this one. I'm not actually sure how to use all these. Uh, this one, it looks a little bit sharp. It's in a, a plastic with a plastic cover on it. There's this one also with a cover on it. And it's almost like a knife. <laughs> and then there's this real skinny one that has a point and it's got a cover on it. So, um, actually comes in a case, all six pieces, and they were $3.59 for the set. I got my pet, my dog, a fine tooth pet hair comb, 44 cents. They come in a lot of different colors, but I've already combed him with it and I got a lot of loose fur, which was my main intention. He has a brush, but I thought maybe with the fine tooth, it might help pull the hair out better, and it actually works pretty good. It was 44 cents. I have this concealer sponge brush, and it's called a round sponge head concealer brush. It's white fiber. It was 44 cents. It's almost like a marshmallow. It's very spongy, very soft, and I got this for 44 cents also. I got two more makeup items. I got this eyebrow, fashion eyebrow, four-headed eyebrow pencil. And I've used it, and it's they only have brown. It's a little bit too dark brown for me, but it's okay. I can still use it. It has a um, a tip on it that's, al that's also like a brush. And... if you can see that if you push down hard you don't see the fine lines but if you do lightly you can see the real fine hairs um, I know when I was using it on the second side this other eyebrow it seemed to be running out and I had to keep pressing it down on a piece of paper next to me to get it moving again so I just wanted to make that comment this was um, 80 cents, so I think it's worth it. Next, I, I bought two mascaras. They were 71 cents each. I like uh, black, but I also like color, so I got one in black, and this is, they're not kidding when they say it's skinny. Like, this is the brush, and this is black. And I used it yesterday, and um, actually, it really wasn't too bad. I mean, I don't like to put on a lot of mascara, but I, you know, I don't put it on too thick, but it's called a Magic Color Skinny Mascara 4D Fiber Lash. And the other color I got was blue, and it's really blue. <laughs> it's bright blue, in my opinion. And I might be able to give you a close up but it's, it's, it's a little bit bluer than navy. I haven't used this one yet, but I am gonna try it. Like I said, these were 71 cents each, and they're skinny mascaras. My next item, I thought it was more of a bra, but when I looked up the description, it says that it's a high-impact crisscross back support tank top. So I paid $5.78 for it. I got it in white. I don't want to get anything on it. It has removable pads on the inside. So you can see on the side, the front looks like this. The straps are stretchy. The bottom part is very nice. It's stretchy and there are no clasps or anything it's just slip over your head and this is a size medium and so i haven't tried it on yet but i'm pretty sure it will fit and i'm really happy with the material and with the um, quality of the item okay now i'm going to move into some housewares i have some stick-on self-adhesive caster wheels they're mini swivel stainless steel 
360 degree rotation wheels that you can stick on the bottom of a trash can or waste paper basket or a Rubbermaid bin um, for easier movement. I thought about maybe putting them on a bin underneath my sink. Um, they look like this on the front and the wheel rotates around like they said and on the back they give you this self adhesive sticky to put on both the container and on itself so um, I bought two packs they were a dollar 18 each and I'm definitely going to use them I think they're pretty useful for crafts um, you know I on my earlier video I I'm going to be doing a diamond painting so I was reading about sealing it so I got a two-in-one artificial diamond painting sealer so this is more like a glue that dries clear and this is a brush that came with it and so for the pair for the set it was $4.98, but I noticed when I was writing the description down, it's now $3.99. And um, again, it's a two-in-one artificial diamond painting sealer. Comes with a brush. Okay, now I have some pretty cool things. I have two sheets. I have a one-piece multicolor printed fitted sheet that's a flower pattern, and it was $13.48. I'll take it out of the bag and show you as much as I can of it. Like I said, it's only fitted sheet. There's no top sheet. And it's really pretty. It's very summery. And um, I haven't tried it on my bed, but the dimensions seem like it would fit. I don't have a real high mattress, but I have like a little built-in topper. But the sheet... Um, edges that I checked when I bought it, after I bought it, seemed to be deep enough. So I, I hate buying sheets that aren't deep enough and they're very hard to stretch across the bed, but I really feel like these are going to be pretty good size for my queen. And again, it was $13.48. And then I love satin pillowcases. They are so cool. They don't get hot and um, they're so smooth on your face. Well, I got a three-piece satin solid color bedding set. It's a fitted sheet also, no top sheet, but a pair of pillowcases come with this one. So I'll show you the pillowcases because it's smaller and easier to show. Um, they don't zip like my other ones, but that's okay. They have a flap. These are really pale pink. They're really pretty, but this tucks, after the pillow goes in, that tucks on the inside so that your edges are nice and closed. But um, the color is pretty true to what you're seeing in my camera. Um, I don't know if you'll see it the same way when you view the video, but they're really nice. They're very smooth. They look to be very well made. The stitching looks real even. It's a single stitch, and the, um, the, sh the fitted sheet is exactly like the material of the pillowcases, so I won't take that out of the bag since I'm trying to make this a speed video. The next item that I have is the bed wedge. When I worked in a resort, they had the housekeepers use these to help with their back, and it's more ergonomic, and it's called a one-piece mattress lifter handle tool. And it was a dollar twenty nine. And what you do is you put this underneath the mattress, and the mattress then lifts, and then your hands are free to um, go ahead and, and move the mattress, uh, the fitted sheet under the mattress. So I haven't. It's very lightweight, but it seems very sturdy. And um, you would just put this all the way under the mattress on the edge that you're working on all the way up to the handle and it will bring the mattress up this much which is probably a good two and a half three inches maybe more so um, it looks very similar to what they were using and they worked well and then I have a lot of people have bought these and I absolutely had sorry 
I'm dropping everything, sorry about that. I absolutely had to have one of these. They're the tote bags and I got it in the um, fake leather. I got it in pink because I like pink, as you can tell. And I wasn't disappointed at all in the quality. It does come with the crossbody strap. I paid $14.88 and the crossbody strap is inside. Um, I, I see, do I see a zipper compartment in this one? This one doesn't have a zipper compartment on the inside. Or does it? No. It's, it's just like a tote bag. It's all open, but it does have a zipper that you can zip on the top, which um, I don't know if I'll do with that or not, because I'm going to mainly just use it to carry, you know, stuff that's, that's not um, like money or, or things that I have to worry about falling out or anything like that. So anyway, all in all, it is a very nice tote bag and it's trimmed with the gold hardware and it has a little holder if you want to attach your keys and it's, I think this is for an umbrella, but I could be wrong, but it looks like it might be big enough to slip one of the small umbrellas through. Anyway. That's my last item, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.